Penis owners of Reddit. What was the most painful thing that happened to your penis? <laughs> Welcome to WTF Red, the only S Reddit channel that will blow your mind. Like and subscribe right now to support Pepe's career as an independent musician. Tried masturbating with toothpaste at 12 over 13 yo. It burned and stung like nothing I've ever felt. And 14 years later I can still remember the pain. Excuse my French, but what the fuck? Puberty was very difficult pre-cell phone internet connections lol. How was brushing your teeth the next day? Hard. While my husband's cousin was in boot camp, he and she other guys convinced someone to masturbate with icy heart. He did not have a good time. How did my husband's cousin know this would end badly? In high school his girlfriend jerked him off with it for a few seconds. He ended up crying in the shower. I guess he decided to share the pain with the guy in boot camp. They all had a good laugh afterwards, except the poor guy. We had a German exchange student who put it all over his body. He didn't enjoy the burning sensation that came later. I think it was in 7th grade. A bunch of bullies got me down and repeatedly kicked me in the groin for a few minutes. Some would hold me down, others would take their turn. I was lying in the woods until the sun started to set because I couldn't get up for hours after they left me there. Everything was swollen, black and blue, and I passed some blood when I peed for days. Dear fuck, I hope those wankers got some bad karma come their way. Out of the five bullies, two grew out if it, two would eventually end up in juvenile detention and I don't know what happened after that. The last guy was killed a year later during a fight. Damn. God damn. That sounds like the ending to stand by me. I'm sorry buddy. I hope those fuck faces get their dicks cut off. Went to a nude beach and got bit on the tip by a black fly. Honestly more traumatizing than having the cut as an adult. I misread that as bot fly and was horrified on your behalf. Black fly still sucks, but at least it wasn't one of those bugs from hell. I tried to put jeans on with no undies on and gave myself a circumcision. 8. In my head out. That's what the penis said. More like what the foreskin said. Kickboxing sparring when I forgot my cup. Took a hard foot directly to the holdic region. Immediately puked on the mat and pissed blood for the rest of the day. Isn't that against the rules? Intentionally, yes. But I've kicked four behind the knee and gotten crotch twice. Both times I hit a cup though which is unpleasant for both. But more unpleasant for him. Reply. With great penis comes great balls. I was a young teen when I decided I was going to be a yo-yo master. Yo-yo hit ball and penis. Fetal position. Yo-yo was not played with again. I love poems. I wanna be a yo-yo man he cried. Make me a yo-yo man now. The most painful thing was when she laughed at it. OOF. Yeah kids can be brutal. Hol up. Wait a damn minute. Yes officer. This comment right here. It still makes me cringe to think about, but one time during 6, she squished one on accident and it literally went up inside of me somewhere. It didn't hurt, but I started freaking out, and she started crying. Suddenly it appeared again and just fell back in place. We laughed really hard after that. I thought it was like completely crushed. Inguinal canals. Is that where it went? Is that okay then? I never brought it up to a doctor, since it didn't hurt, and seemed to resolve itself. Yup. In fact, it happens to some guys regularly in an extreme version of the cremasteric reflex. And you know those Chinese monk stuntmen whose whole thing is that they can be kicked and punched in the groin without showing pain? They've trained themselves to pull their balls into their body on command. As a vagina owner I think the whole thing is fascinating. Pretty wild stuff. Glad to know I shouldn't be worried about it though. The very strange feeling I get from thinking about it must be psychological lol. I got soap in my penis while in the shower. I got one of those exfoliating microbeads in there once. Worst experience of my life. It's what I imagine kidney stones feel like and it hurt to pee for days. How the fuck did that happen? I was showering with the soap that had them and washed my dick and one slipped in. It could happen to anyone. Right guys? Guys? You fucked the soap, didn't you? Sweats profusely. I'm a girl, and when I first heard about exfoliating microbead wash this was the terrifying possibility I that came to mind. Or heck no. 
Mine got squished by the toilet lid when I was 5 and had to be rushed to the hospital. I like the phrasing of this, like your penis went to the hospital without you. Detachable penis? Accidental king missile. Not that anyone will see this, but you know that mint shampoo they have in Britain? I washed the old money maker, and by Jove it burned, but like a cold burn, and I swear on my mother's life I could taste the mint with my balls. How it feels to chew 5 gum. This is gold right here. This one is still fresh and painful to think about, since it happened in February. I was mountain biking, and went off a drop a little bit too fast, and overshot the landing to flat. My ass hit the back tire, and slammed my dick and balls into the back of the seat, and then got sucked into the back of the frame. I honestly thought I was gonna lose my dick it was so painful, I just laid out on the ground for like 15 minutes, and worked up the courage, to hobble out of the woods. A normal half hour ride back to the car, took twice the time. My entire dick and balls and upper pubic area turned dark black and blue. And I had this huge hematoma it felt like the size of a deck of cards under my skin right above it which was painful for like an entire month. Okay, this one, right here, I can picture, and shudder I would not wish that on my worst enemy, damn. I was about 6 years old, I had taken a shower, but forgot to take my favorite green dinosaur pajamas, that I had long since outgrown into the bathroom with me, so I went into my room naked. Upon opening the top drawer of my dresser, where I kept my pajamas, I looked down at my penis, then I looked back at the drawer, I thought to myself this is meant to be, and proceeded to slowly close the dresser drawer directly onto the head of my penis, I screamed. When my mom came to see what was wrong I told her I accidentally got caught in the drawer, I hope she believed my story. I spent the rest of the night holding an ice pack onto my penis, which had now turned a wretched and dark shade of purple. I attribute this event to my current enjoyment of CBT. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Hope it works for your anxiety. What the actual fuck I'd wrong with you? I've had two painful events. The first was when I broke it. It's not really a bone, but neither is a nose. Rough sex led to a misalignment, pain and a permanent bend ensued. Second instance, and far more painful, was kidney stones. Think razor blades inside. How do you prevent both of those scenarios from happening? In order, clear communication and drinking plenty of water. Don't do reverse cowgirl. I've heard that's the position that breaks sticks. That makes so much sense honestly. My BF and I tried to do reverse cowgirl a few times, and every time, he'd slip out, and we'd come very close to a penis pubic bone collision, that would be no doubt very painful. You would be correct, sad face. I was 4 years old, I don't actually remember the pain, fortunately, but there is an image that's forever seared in my brain. For reasons that I still don't know I was circumcised it for I'm guessing it was for medical or just because it was fashionable to cut your foreskin back then. Anyways the operation was good, full anesthesia, I wake up, the doc tells me now, when you get home it's really important that you do not walk for any reason, ask your dad to carry you around, if you need to I was like got it doc. So we get home by dad carries me to the living room and they go do something quick. In that time I'm still full of anti-pain meds, so I don't feel shit I tell myself I can quickly run to the basement to get my Batman toys and run back up no one will suspect anything. For reasons unknown my parents didn't click that I had moved from my spot, I didn't say anything because I was fine. And then as time went by I remember being more and more uncomfortable I eventually started crying and my dad brought me to the local clinic, explained the situation. I don't exactly remember what happened, but I remember watching the doc pulling the stitches from my penis, and with every heartbeat there was an ungodly amount of blood gushing on the table, and on my thighs. I remember the blood, I remember screaming on top of my lungs, but I do not remember what it felt like, I also don't remember anything after that event. I got circumcised at 14, and tried to masturbst with the stitches on. Not fun. Wired 14. Also that sounds like a big mistake. Remember those rubber ball poppers from the 90s? Looked like half a rubber ball, you'd push it inside out, place it on a flat surface, and it would bounce super high. Somewhere around the age of 10 to 12, on a dare, I put one down there thinking I'd be able to get it off fast enough before it popped. It popped instantly, and I just curled up into a ball on the floor. 
I nearly threw up. Ah yes, I remember them. They pop up with the force of a thousand suns. Anyone who complains about the so-called manspreading has obviously never sat on their balls before. Y'all. It's not tacked on the front. It droops. For comparison, ask any of the bustier gals how it feels to pinch your breast in your armpit. I've legit seen dudes sit down in their seat, only to immediately crumple headfirst into the floor. In that moment, every single guy around knew immediately what had happened. We all winced, gave each other that dude look, candlelight vigils, ceramic glorlin, a gothund for that dude's balls, the works. We could all literally feel sympathy pain. You saw like 9 dudes all shifting in place, to comfort their balls like a mother shielding her children. It's okay boys, daddy will keep you safe. I cackled. Thanks for tuning in for this WTF Red episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the one and only S credit channel that will blow your mind, every time.